Hello everybody. There are numerous tutorials out how to make a thread for a screw or the top of a bottle or something like this with uh, very different techniques and I think I found yet another one and would like to show it. So I go to the front view <coughs> Then draw out a square and I make it 5 by 10 millimeters and center everything in the middle. Hit the A key, go to polygon mode, then I select this edge here, R key and bring this to about 50% here. Drop the tool. Now I move the entire polygon away. W key and then move it by minus 40 millimeters. A key again. Now I can select these edges. This is my profile and you could do whatever profile you find. It could be round, it could be extended here, doesn't really matter. Depending on the thread you want to make. So, next I go to Duplicate, Radial Sweep, count of 36 around the Y, three times 360 which is 1080 and because this side is 10 millimeters this is 5 millimeters and we want to have the same distance then this must be 3 times 15 which is 45 millimeters action center origin and click in the viewport alt 3 to select the polygon which we have the three edges and delete now here is our thread. Next I go to top view, take a circle with 12 edges, bring it out here, make this in the middle, here, and then let's see this must be probably 37.5.5 yes 7.5 and I make this here 30 millimeters drop the tool get rid of the helix generator and let's see what we have first I bring this in the middle center select it all then I go to the side view. The cylinder is a bit small, so I make it a bit bigger, like so. Then select the edge in here, Alt C. Mm -hmm. Then select two polys in here, L for loop and delete. Now we have all the ingredients for our thread. We just have to fill in the gaps. So let's do this. First, I start with this one here. Alt, uh, sorry, bridge this. My uh, shortcut is Alt Q for this. Bridge, Control Z, that was stupid. Drop the tool, reselect these edges and bridge. Now we can select all these edges, deselect these two and bridge everything together and the inner part is done. Now we do the same with the outer part start here and bridge 
same here and bridge these. Then I select this edge here, Alt C with the count of two and make sure these two are inside the opening. Do the same down here. <coughs> select this and this one. Bridge. Select this and this one. Bridge. And put edges in here. Alt C. Drop the tool. Now we can connect these vertices. So I select this one and this one. Make sure we have only selected two. Connect them together. Same here. Bridge them together or merge them together. Same here. And here. And now we can delete. Oh, what did I do? That was wrong. Wrong sequence. This one comes to here. Now we can delete these edges. And fill in the gaps here. Bridge. And bridge these. Now it is basically finished. What comes now is a bit of cosmetic. So first I delete this one. Then B for bevel. Bevel this one in. About so. Shift click. And bring it down to here. And delete. Good. Next I select this edge here, go to Action Center Element, W key and select this edge here and move it in by minus 5 millimeters. Do the same down here, select this edge, W key and select this element and move it by 5 millimeters. Drop the tool. Now we can select these two polygons. On the top these two. Go to top view. Hit the R key but action center origin and then we can bring this in on the green circle a bit. Drop the tool, deselect this polygon and this one. R key again, green circle again, a bit more, like so. Now I go to edge mode, select this edge and this edge here. R key again and make this almost completely flat, like so. Perspective. Now we can fill in these holes, the P key, and depending on how hard we want to have our thread, we can leave it as it is, or we can put some edges in here. I put in two edges quite to the outside, and here we are. I want to make a, a bottle, so put two edges in here, then select this edge and this one, R key, <coughs> <coughs> pardon me, action center standard, then Z key, Bring this out a bit, then R key again on the green circle, drop the tool, 
z key again and bring it down. Now I put in one edge here, two edges in here, then same here, C, one edge in here, and another one in here. Now we can go to uh, the Render tab, A key, put some nice glass texture on here and go to the layout, put in maybe this one. Yes, nice. Then we make it a bit bigger. 888, control enter. And F9, render it out. And here is our thread, pretty easy to do and looks quite nice. So thanks again for watching, take care and have fun modeling with Modo. See you some other time, bye bye.